This is uh, Gurumbuche cave. Gurumbuche always spend morning session here. He wakes about 4, 4.30 in the morning and he's already meditating. And then that's the place where Rinpoche, his bed, he stays there. His uh, meditation and also he sleeps there. It was wonderful uh, because as soon as you are wake up, you are already engaged in the practice. Other than practice, there's nothing. Your mind is so calm here and so much close to nature and especially Rinpoche was so great because he's completely like free and empty and spacious. So for him, every moment looks like a, engaging always in the meditation. Many people ask me why you do the wandering retreat. So sometimes I said that, of course, wandering retreat one way is to develop uh, meditation and free myself and another is a lot of challenge so the challenge is really helps for develop meditation so one of the, my students said that means you are looking for trouble one way yeah it's looking for trouble so that's why in the past they said don't stay in one place move so then if you move Today you have a nice place to stay, tomorrow maybe not. You need to look for food, shelter. You don't know where to go. You don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know that the road is nice or not nice. To make fire at the beginning, you have to create, you have to make fire with the right condition under the protection. And there's small woods or even grass and you can uh, make fire. Once fire becomes better, 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 then later you can add more bigger woods. In the end, the big lump of wood, if, if, if you add in the fire, become bigger. So, therefore, first important is solitary retreat. So like three-year retreat, solitary, stay in one room, not going out. Then later, wandering retreat. It's like try to bring your meditation experience with the different circumstances, special with the difficult circumstances, with the difficult situation, with the difficult environment. So then it really helps for your meditation. Uh, like become like fuel to the fire one way. All these problems, all this uh, difficult situation become fuel to the fire. So for me, I'm very satisfied. Uh, I satisfied what I did and, and that is really benefit for me more than what I expected. So one way I can say, one of the happiest time in my life. But it's of course very challenging and very difficult, though sometimes almost die, you know. And another thing is, I learn a lot of things about life. So before, um, I have this wonderful name as Rinpoche. So although, um, kind of like I'm free and then I can, no one controls me, but still I'm in one boundary. So in the monastery, it's a very comfortable life. Everywhere, everywhere where I go, there's a lot of students. They try their best to treat me and feed me and take care of me. So when I go out of this circle, and nothing. Alone there, by myself. Even no money, no shelter, nothing. So I have to start everything zero and survive myself. So it's really, really challenge, but it's great. I learn a lot. And, and also another thing is, I learn a lot of appreciation and gratitude. So 
at the beginning I almost die because of diarrhea and then once I come back and then I feel like just having just alive is wonderful and having this breath is a miracle so I have a lot of appreciation and that is really really helps for me.